Alright. If you're like me and you have an iPod and you don't have... It, it bothers me when I don't have, like, the information isn't correct. Like, see, you know, all the stuff's missing. And it takes a long time to sit there and go through and figure out what the song is and who the artist is and what album it's from. That takes a long time. So I have three things to just do that a lot faster. And it's pretty accurate from what I can tell. First of all, um, you need Snooty. And all this does is this is, um, it just lets you take the songs off your iPod and put them onto your computer. All you have to do is just select all your songs and then hit transfer. And you can have the option of either to have it saved directly into your library on your computer or just save it onto a folder on your desktop. And I would recommend saving it to a folder on your desktop just because it makes the next steps a lot easier. So once you do that, you can just close up that. And you have to get this other thing called BEA Tunes and get that and start that up. Now what this does is it it goes through and somehow like figures out what the song is and who the artist is. I don't know how it does it, but somehow it traces where the file came from or something. And it so all you have to do is um and then just create a playlist over here. I just made my demo and then you take the songs from your iPod that you saved into a folder and you just drag them and put it in here and then um so that's a lot easier if you don't want um all your songs mixed in with your library you have um and then it's a lot easier so once you have it analyze your playlist you can just click and drag it back onto your ipod and there you go but first and then it'll come up with this and then you just go over here and you drop down the playlist menu and you just pick which library you want it to analyze and I'm gonna have it analyze demo and all you do is you hit analyze playlist now this will pop up it, you can have it import the beats per minute and the key and all this stuff but I recommend you import the data from musicip.com and you hit replace existing song properties if you click um, import missing data, it will and it, it'll just like um, it'll import it'll only fill in this and it'll fill in this. So if this stuff is wrong, like this is from Led Zeppelin two, but I just um, oh I guess never mind. But like it won't replace this stuff. It'll just replace what's missing. So you need to check replace existing song stuff. So it'll replace everything that's wrong. And you just hit analyze, and it'll say it's analyzing in the background, and you just click OK, and there it goes. And you can even watch it on here. It'll fix everything. It'll fill everything in nice and good. There you go, Mark Anthony. And it actually goes, it's pretty fast from what I can tell. Um, and it'll put them all on here and get it all nice and accurate and then once that's done this obviously if you have your whole playlist this is gonna take probably a little while and then so once you're done and then you're gonna need to get this this is called gimme some tune and basically this is for just getting uh... the lyrics and the album artwork because as you probably know when you put in your albums itunes can't find most of your album artwork because itunes is retarded so um, but if it has, like, see this has this disc 2, you're going to want to delete that. Just a physical graffiti and, um, no. Uh, and just delete those so that it just is just the album. And then all you have to do is, um, it doesn't show up, like, on your desktop or anything. It just has this up here. And, uh, oops. You can have it show the lyrics. So it'll get the lyrics. So all you have to do is double click on the song. And it'll get the album artwork if it, you don't have it already. But I have all this stuff already because I did this earlier. But it'll get the lyrics, see? And it'll show up over here. It'll, it'll, it, it gets everything pretty fast. 
So what I did was I just watched TV and I sat here and just hit the arrow button for each song. Takes kind of a while. There's no way for it to just go um, automatically through your playlist, which I think kind of sucks. But for being free, it's a great little program. All of these are great programs. I'll have the links for all of them in the video description. And then once you're done, just highlight it all and just click and drag it right onto your iPod. And it'll sync it right up. And then you'll be all good. So that's it. And I hope you guys like this. And comment, rate, subscribe. I'll be bringing you more videos periodically. And...